Good morning, folks. Happy Friday. I am about to grind in the chuck on our Okamoto grinder, which I'm super excited to do. On Tuesday, we went up to Columbus and we helped judge a Skills USA high school machining competition. Uh, the students took either a mill or a lathe test. Uh, there was a written test on general machining and CNC stuff, and there was an inspection test where they had various angle gauges, feeler gauges, mics, calipers to measure parts. Super cool. I was glad that we had the chance to do it. We actually learned some stuff as well. Um, but one of the takeaways for me was what would I have told myself as a high school student? And we've had this list uh, I've been keeping for a chip break and I thought perfect time. This is a short summary of some of the best advice I've received in my life. Number one, the power of doing things in small doses. You wanna learn something, whether, or do something or achieve something, whether it's learning a foreign language, learning G code, learning, uh, you know, just building something, do five minutes every day, or 10 minutes every day, or 20 minutes every week. The power of that over time is incredible. Do not underestimate that. Work hard. Might sound cliche, but working hard, to me, is part of the American dream. It's part of life, it's part of success, it's part of entrepreneurship. There are always gonna be people smarter than you, but hard work, there's just no substitute for that. To me, it's part of the American dream, it's part of business, it's part of life, it's part of being an entrepreneur. I love it. Just something that was always instilled in me and is just absolute something I believe in. Work your butt off. Stay out of debt. I so many people are going to inundate you in life with opportunities to take on debt. Run up credit cards, get car loans, get mortgages, finance stuff, finance this, finance that. Look, there, there are unnecessary evils. There's going to be times where you may have to do some of it. Do not accept that though as the standard. Do not accept that as life. It is not normal. It is not okay. It's one thing if you feel that you've got to finance a machine as part of a business where it's got proven revenue. It's another thing to, to, to live beyond your means by racking up credit card debt. Please stay out of debt. On that note, save money. Go back to the first point, the power of things in small doses. I remember the day I graduated from college and I thought, man, if I only save 50 bucks per paycheck, that's nothing over a year. That's the wrong way to look at it. You gotta start saving, start somewhere, get in that habit. Fast forward 10 years, you can do well. You have to get in the habit. It's a lifestyle, it's a choice. Save your money. I, I gotta say, I do not believe anybody who says they cannot save $10 a week. I just don't believe it. If you gotta go, drive an Uber car, if you've gotta go work an extra job, a second job, a third job, you absolutely can do it if you believe in yourself and you create that mentality, save money. Be honest with yourself. And this one is a little bit weird because it sounds like, what do you mean be honest with yourself? And this to me came from the book, uh, Dale Carnegie, How to Win Friends and Influence People. Really a highly recommended book. But don't, don't lie to yourself about things that you're interested or not interested. Don't misrepresent who you are. Don't try to be somebody else to please anybody else. Um, you gotta be honest with yourself in that sense. And ultimately, we all know that person that, that lies or fibs because they don't wanna take accountability. Just be honest with yourself. It's funny, it's really hard to get mad at somebody when they're honest. Seriously, just be honest with yourself. Something we'll talk about more because it's really a found, it's a core belief, I think, in who I am, which again, it's kind of funny actually to go back to the judging competition this Tuesday. Uh, Haas kind of coordinated it and they asked if I would come do it and I asked what it was and they said, you know, it was manually editing uh, or a lot of manual G-code and, you know, I'm a little bit torn because I think I was flattered that they invited me and we actually met a lot of high school kids that were fans of the channel. So in some sense, I'm thinking, oh my gosh, like I got to, you know, I've got to keep, I've got an image to keep up. And then I, but the first thing I said was, guys, I'm not qualified to be a judge. I haven't written any hand G-code in my life. Uh, so be honest with yourself in that sense. It's okay. They weren't mad. I actually brushed up a little myself and we figured out, I figured out how to know enough to do what I need to do. Probably another good life lesson right there, which is be resourceful, but be honest with yourself. Don't try to lie or misrepresent who you are just to fit an image for somebody else. Marry for love. This may sound silly, but it's, it's a good advice and uh, you marry somebody who you love uh, part of being successful in life is avoiding dumb things like debt, like divorce. Um, I, I just can't emphasize enough, 
If you have the chance to date somebody and you feel like you fall in love with them, that's phenomenal. And if you don't love the person, dear God, don't get married to them. I feel like this is getting further out uh, in the realm of what chip breaks cover. But seriously, um, for me, my wife and my family is a huge part of my life and my business and my entrepreneurial pursuits. I need that stability. I need that partner. I need to know that it's somebody I love who loves who I am. Really important. Last two. Don't buy stuff that depreciates. What does that mean? What it means is that if, look, if, whether it's in life or whether it's for your business, if you want each year grow a little, be a little bit more successful, have a little bit more, do well, don't buy stuff that costs you more than it earns you. So for me, uh, someone asked me the question, how much money do you, of you, what you earned do you put back into your business? And I'm like, are you, are you serious? Everything. I, I don't buy clothing. I don't spend money on my vehicles. The quintessential example is, if you to purchase a brand new car, the second you drive that car off the lot, it's lost a significant portion of its value. So the counter there would be buy a used car. Um, we bought new machinery. You could argue that you should buy used machinery. My counter is that we are able to earn a return on that investment of that new machine that is greater than how much it depreciates. Because yeah, we bought a brand new Haas. The second we take ownership of that Haas, it loses some value because it's now a used machine. But in general, from a, philosophy, from a life standpoint, yes, you need to have fun, you need to go uh, live life, but, but for the people that I've met that are successful, that have built something out of nothing, I've all had this mentality of don't buy, or don't waste money on stuff that depreciates, stuff that doesn't uh, either generate a return for you or generate happiness, and very, very few things uh, tangible possessions, in my opinion, really generate happiness. For me, a lot of the things that I think of that are true happiness, aside from building a business, are the, really the, the memories I've made with my family and the traveling and the kind of enrichment of, of, of friends and that kind of selling to life. Very few things that I've bought historically have actually really made me happy, if that makes sense. And lastly, on that note, biggest, best piece of advice I've received, you make your own happiness. There are always gonna be people that are smarter than you. There's always gonna be people that have more than you. There's always gonna be people that have less than you. You choose. We live in a great world, folks. You couldn't ask to be born at a better time in the history of mankind. The access that we have, whether it's through equipment and machinery and YouTube and, and just the energy out there in this world, I mean, as you decide whether you wanna take on the day, the year, the month with, with a positive attitude or whether you wanna consider yourself down and, and frustrated and, and bitter and all that stuff. Seriously, um, you make your own happiness and it's, a, it's something I struggle with as an entrepreneur because it can be lonely, it can be tough, it can, you can feel like they're struggling, but at the end of the day, if I look back two years ago or 10 years ago, would I wish I had taken a different path? Absolutely not. You make your own happiness. And the thing I like about that is that, you know what? People want to be around people that are happy. It's kind of contagious. Now, again, going back, don't, misre don't misrepresent who you are. It's okay to be frustrated. It's okay to be upset. We all have our highs and lows. I don't ever want to, I'm not interested in the people that kind of put on this facade of being, you know, heroes and never having any weaknesses or insecurities. I've got insecurities. Um, but at the end of the day, you make your own happiness. You choose how to tackle life that way. So folks, hope you enjoyed. That's some of the best advice I've ever received. Pay it forward, folks. Uh, embrace it, share it, all that good stuff. Take care. See you soon.